So we gotta go get food to feed all the animals. So we're gonna go down to our favorite pet store, see if we can grab a couple of feeder insects for the animals. Also the dogs need to be fed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get that and then we'll feed all of the animals. But be sure you like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Let's push this algorithm. Also, appreciate everybody who's already liked, subscribed, and rang that notification bell. Thank you. So much, super appreciated. All right, let's go down to the pet store. All right, we just got here to the pet store. Let's go see if we can get some peanut insects. Oh yeah, and dog food. here was hornworms so we may need to make one more stop before we go home to get hornworms because Duke loves hornworms and it's a good way of getting extra water into his diet. Um, chameleons don't drink from a water dish so you have to have a dripper so they can drink from moving water but if they don't drink from the moving water a good way to supplement that is with hornworms or silkworms. They are super juicy. They have a lot of water content. So maybe we'll stop at another pet store, see if we can find some hornworms, because Duke really loves them. We found hornworms and 50% off. Can't hate that. So we're in the kitchen right now. And one thing that I like to do is not only rinse out my little critter keeper here, but also put in some stuff like baby spinach or a spring mix or something like that to have the insects feed on because they need to be gut loaded. So whenever the reptile eats the bug, the bug has a stomach full of really good nutrients that the reptile will need. So the first thing to do is to go ahead and rinse this out I'm going to put some spinach in there and I'm going to put the crickets in there and we're going to let them sit for a little while so that they can eat and gut load before we actually feed them. So they're going to munch on these leafy greens we got in here for them and hopefully get nice and gut loaded and then we will come back to them in a minute. We got a couple of big juicy hornworms in here. That one's gonna be the first to go. So we're gonna see if Duke will eat. He definitely wants to come out. So let's see if he'll eat a hornworm. Okay, here's Duke, a veiled chameleon. And he is definitely wanting out. So he knows that I've got food. Bodhi can't be in here while I do this. Okay. Let's let Duke go. I'll get a hornworm for him. Hey, buddy. Come out. Woo, woo, woo. I gotcha. I gotcha. You're okay. Yeah, 
Nice. Good job, buddy. It's a big one. He's a chunky boy. You can do it. Over there digesting. <laughs> yeah. We're going to feed our shrimp and our Corydoras. Nutri Diet Tropical Flakes and Daphnia. So they like, they both like, they like this. I also feed this to the isopods. We'll be feeding them in just a second. Here they come. Oh yeah, they're loving it. They'll swim up here and get a little piece off and then they'll come back down. I don't see my Cory, my little Cory cat, but it is very shy. They're shy fish, so that's okay. There's one of the shrimp. See? Get a little piece here. Yeah, grab a piece. Grab a piece. Get some guys. No fighting. Probably too much. He doesn't eat very much. He's maybe a, not even as long as this is. So he's about the length of my finger. So he doesn't eat very much. Just one. Wait, I'll leave you. So this has got calcium and all sorts of supplements in it. So when I feed him, I typically don't dust any of his fruitless fly or flightless fruit, fruit flies, whatever. Look who decided to come out. It's our Cory. What's up Cory gang, fish fam. It's our pygmy Cory. Doing their thing. Hey, look at that cute little face. Hi. Got it nestled right back in here, suction cupped on there. Now we're gonna put some fruit flies in. Okay, we have technical difficulties. Sometimes that little leaf that put the food in, sometimes the suction cup falls. That's what just happened, and it knocked all the food down. So I had to remix. Hopefully that'll stay. 
Okay, I'm gonna do my best to record this. Uh, because I have to put these guys in there. It takes two hands. Mm, I'm gonna rethink this. Okay, I got fruit flies and they are climbing the walls. <laughs> Let's put them in the enclosure. Ah, they're all over me. <laughs> You can see them. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna feed our mankai and roly polies or pill bugs or isopods, whatever you want to call them. There are tons in here. You may not be able to see them very well. I haven't done an update on the isopods in a while, but we've got a lovely little colony. Let's see if I can show you guys. Check them out. Yay! They're growing so big. So we're gonna feed these guys. I'll put that back gently. And we feed them. Daphnia, same thing I feed the fish. They love it. A little bit of this. They got a fairly large colony, so I'm gonna give them a decent amount of food. These guys are gonna get an update soon, an update to their enclosure, but you can see all the little man kai in there. Like that little guy. So zoom in on them. We got tons of baby isopods in here. Springtails doing their thing. All right, now we're gonna try to see if we can feed Frankie our OG axolotl. Hey Frank, you hungry? This worm is twisting up on himself. <laughs> oh, Frank, you missed it. A good feeding response. How do you feel now, Beans? Good.
Crickets got loaded. I gave a couple to Sheila. I don't know if they had uh, too long to eat, but we'll put a few more in there. Now, I don't dust my crickets every single time with calcium. When I do dust them, I dust them with this Fluker's Repticalcium with uh, D3 and it's phosphorus free. So I usually dust her stuff with this, um, and if I don't have any Pangea to feed Johnny, I will supplement calcium for him as well, and D3 to help him metabolize, um, to ward off metabolic bone disease, big deal for reptiles. Now with Duke, uh, I found out that D3 can be harmful to chameleons and so we typically don't want the d3 in their diet so i have this replicalcium without d3 and i will dust his crickets um every, once every two or three feedings super important that the feeder insects that you give to your reptiles are gut loaded it gives them extra nutrients that they wouldn't otherwise get guys I really appreciate you hanging out with me on this video watching me feed all the animals I also would appreciate if you went down there like and subscribe It'd be amazing of you but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it have a great day and as always we will see you on the next video peace